Hi, today I am bringing you the April 25th Christmas project. Um, this time around I decided that I was going to make gift tags. So what I'm doing is using my Tim Holtz um, tag set that I have and I cut them out with my cuddle bug before it broke and then after it broke I ended up just going ahead and cutting them by hand. So I just wanted to show you that you don't have to have special equipment. I mean you can use a Cricut whatever you have to cut them out but um, even just um, using your scissors and um, cutting out a tag and using a good old office um, one hole punch works just as fine as well. So um, as you can see, I cut a bunch out with craft and white paper. They're all just scraps that I had in my scrap bin. Now I'm taking some Avery hole, um, hole reinforcers. You can get at any office store or dollar store. And I'm using a Sharpie and I'm just coloring them to the color that I want. So I've made them in red and green and I'm just going to attach those to each of the tags. Now the first tag that I'm going to show you is a design that's kind of jumping off of the Christmas card that I made first. And that's going into your stash and finding buttons and using them to look like ornaments. So I'm going to go ahead and attach them to the first card using my um, glue dots. And I'll just take a Sharpie pen and um, draw the string like it's hanging from the top of the card and just putting a little bow on it. When I have these all down and um, it's all drawn, then I'm going to go in my stash and I'm going to grab one of my holiday sentiments. I just have one that says Happy Holidays that I used and I'm just going to stamp it at the bottom of each of the tags. Now I would recommend that you do um, the stamping first. I found with the first one it was kind of getting caught on the buttons so it didn't... Um, print as good as it should have. So as you can see for the rest of the tags, I just went ahead and stamped the sentiment at the bottom for all of them. Now if you don't have buttons in your stash, the next white tag I'm going to make is using um, enamel dots instead of using the buttons. And with the enamel dots, I'm going to go ahead and adhere them using the glue dots just to make sure that they stay. Because these are going to be on Christmas presents, you want to make sure that they're a strong adhesive that's attached to the tag. And I thought sometimes, you know, with enamel dots, the, the adhesive isn't always the best. So adding a little bit of the glue dots underneath just is a, a little bit of an added um, security for it. So you again, look and see what you have in your stash. You could also use sequins if that didn't work. So the next tags, what I'm going to do is I'm grabbing that bag of scraps that I used the last time I made cards, and I'm just grabbing a bunch of random pieces of scraps. Um, again, you can use your 6x6 six six pads, whatever you have around. You don't have to have big pieces of paper. And I am just cutting out Christmas trees for each of these. So what I do is I, I cut a, a rectangle, and then I'm going from the bottom corner to the middle of the top and making my tree. And so I'm going to off screen, I'm going to end up cutting all of these so that there will be one for each of the tags. And after I have these all adhered down, the next thing I'm going to do is grab the um, six by six pad that I have over there, which is glitter paper. And I'm going to use my star punch and I'm going to punch a star for the top of each of the trees. I hope you have a chance to check out all of the others that are putting up their videos today. I will have a um, list of all those that are participating in the information um, of this video. So please click on it and check out everyone's videos. There's a lot of um, inspiration, whether it be a page layouts, Christmas cards, like I'm doing tags, different Christmas projects to do ahead of time before the season begins. So now what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to take and I'm going to, on a couple of them, I, I did put a little um, tree trunk on each of them. Um, and I didn't do it on all of them because a couple of them were hanging down a little bit low and um, it would have gotten into the sentiment. So I did it on four. So either way, it doesn't matter because people can still tell that it's a Christmas tree, even if there's not a little tree trunk on there. The last thing I'm going to do for these is I'm going to cut some of my twine. I have the red, red and white baker's twine. I have some gold and white 
um, twine that I got at Target in their gift wrapping section. And then I just have this um, neutral colored twine and I'm just going to randomly put it on each of them. Making sure that the strings are long enough so that they um, can be tied to the packages once I'm done wrapping. So I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration and um, have fun making this project. It was really quick to go through and make these eight tags and maybe it took 40 minutes at the most. And it's all with um, scraps and things that were already in my supplies and didn't have to go out and buy anything special. I hope you all have a great, happy April and we will see you again next month for more of our projects. Uh, getting ready for Christmas 2020. Thanks and bye-bye.